So now we're going to be looking at creating a scatter graph with D3 and SVG. And what we're going to do is we're essentially going to turn this set of points right here. So these are a set of X and Y coordinates. And we want to create some points where these are the X coordinates and these and they're mapped to these Y coordinates right here. So the first thing we need is we need some shape, some SVG shape to act as a point. And for this, we can use this circle shape right here. So to create a circle in SVG, we would use a circle tag like this. We would set three attributes. We would set CX, which is the X coordinate of the circle. We would set CY, which is the Y coordinate of the circle. And finally, we would set R, which is the radius of the circle. And what that does is that creates this circle right here. Now, one important thing to note is the fact that this CX and the CY refer to the coordinates at the center of the circle and not the top left points like in rectangles. So if I were to make the CX 10, only half of the circle is showing because the middle of the circle is at X equals zero. So now what we need to do is we need to create a circle element with for each of these and set CX to this and CY to this. So they've created an SVG area right here and they've set the width and the height to 500 by 500. And then they've selected any circle elements just in case there are already some there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to call the data method and we want to bind it to this set of data right here. Then we're going to call the enter method so that we can specify what to do for each of these items that don't have a circle, which is all of them in this case. And what we wanted to do is to create a new circle. So we'll call the append method with the type circle and now we also need to set the CX and the CY. So we can set the CX using the attribute method and we say CX and we want that to be a function where it takes in one of these items right here and we want it to return the X coordinate which is the first part because this is a a little array right here with two elements. So we want to return item zero. And now we need to set the Y coordinate. And to do that, we'll call the attribute method again. This time we'll be passing in the CY property here. And again, the function is going to take in one of these rows right here. And this time we want the Y coordinate, which is the second element in these arrays. So we will return item one. And it says here that the circles aren't visible yet. And that's because we haven't set a radius yet. And that'll be done in the next challenge. So this is all we need to do for this challenge. So I'm just gonna submit that now. Yep, that's exactly right.